everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. And today we have a side dish for you. We've got a fresh corn that we took off the cob and we're making a Southwestern style fried corn. There's some poblano chili and red bell pepper, some onion and some of my homemade Southwest, smoky Southwest seasoning. And this is gonna be a real treat. So let's go see what goes into this. We're gonna get started going over all the ingredients for our Southwestern style fried corn. There is no brain surgery rocket science to this recipe. It is exactly what it says it is. It is fried corn. Now, not deep fried corn, but really it's like sauteed corn. But in the South, they, they have this thing they call fried corn, and it really is delicious, and we're going to kind of replicate that with a Southwestern flair. I have six ears of really beautiful silver queen corn that I removed from the cob. And we showed you in another Pick Your Produce video how to choose the perfect ear of corn and how to remove it easily without making a mess. I will link that video here. And then what we're gonna add to this, we're gonna of course use some butter. So I have four tablespoons of butter. And then I have a cup or about one medium red bell pepper that I have chopped. I have one poblano pepper with the seeds and the ribs removed and I just diced that up really small. These are not spicy. They just have a different flavor to them. This is a half a cup of sweet onion that I have diced. Now as far as the poblano goes, you can leave it out. You can uh, use green bell pepper if you so choose. You don't have to use it at all if you don't want to or you can double up the red bell pepper if that's your choice. We're also going to use some of my smoky southwestern spice blend and probably about a tablespoon of this that we're going to kind of sprinkle over when we're all done sauteing the vegetables together. And that's it. How simple is that for a beautiful fresh summer corn dish? The other really great thing here is you can actually cool this down. It can be eaten hot at room temperature or cold and you can use it as a summer salad. You can add oil and vinegar to it. It doesn't matter. It will be delicious either way. So we're going to move over to the stove and we're going to start melting the butter and then we'll proceed and I'll meet you over there and we'll mix up this fried corn southwestern style. All right, I've got my butter melted. And the one thing I want to suggest is that you melt the butter just until it's almost brown. You want that water to cook out of it. You really want to get that sizzle in there. And you don't want that water to have to cook out after, you know, if you've not let it heat up long enough. So that's one of my suggestions. Now let's get all of our veggies here in the pan. And we'll just give them a turn. Basically, you're just gonna put everything in the pan at one time and we're gonna let it cook for like 10 minutes. We'll just go ahead and we'll tip all of our corn in there. And give it a good toss. Make sure you get everything coated in the butter. And you're not gonna wanna put a lid on this because all the moisture that is in the vegetables, you're gonna want that to kind of cook out. Well, not kind of, definitely cook out. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some of that Southwestern seasoning. But first I just wanna make sure I have all of this really well incorporated. And it's gonna take a moment for the pan to get back up to temperature. I'm gonna start off with two teaspoons of this spice blend. I'm just gonna give it a good toss here. And later I'll taste it. And if I feel like I need to add that extra teaspoon to make a whole tablespoon, then we'll go ahead and we'll go, we'll do that. This smells amazing already. Mm -hmm. That spice mix is incredible. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let this hang out. We're going to let it fry, so to speak. And then we'll be back when it's ready to give this a taste for seasoning. Right, we have had this on the stove between 10 and 15 minutes now, and the corn has literally started to sing a little bit. Watch it not make the noise now, but in any case, when you can't, when, when you can hear it sizzling, and it's gonna start maybe sounding a little like it's squeaking, that's when you know your corn is done. I have tasted this, and so has Rick, and we agree that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add this last teaspoon of seasoning because we like it. 
If you don't want to, that's fine. You can adjust it to your preference. If you don't have this uh, particular spice blend, I made a video and there's a recipe on my website. I will link it below and you'll be able to go and check that out. And you can use this as liberally or as judiciously as you prefer. So that's it. All right, we're gonna take this off the heat and then we'll meet you back over at the counter. And we're just gonna give this one final taste and let you see what this looks like because it's almost time for dinner. All right, there you have it. There is our smoky, delicious, Southwest style fried corn. I know that you're gonna love this. It smells incredible. And it's just gonna be so different. If you've never had fried corn in the first place, this just really steps it up a notch with that extra seasoning. I did want to mention that if you don't wanna use fresh corn and cut it off the cob yourself, no worries. Just use about six cups of frozen corn and just do it that way, no worries. You might have to cook it just a little bit longer since it's gonna be a lot wetter than uh, the fresh corn, but it's still gonna do the same thing. Also, if you do use the frozen variety of corn and you find that it's not as sweet as you like, you can add a tablespoon of granulated sugar in here if you like, and that's just going to elevate the flavor profile even more so. So I, uh, Rick and I both tasted this, but I know we're gonna taste it on camera. So you ready? Oh yeah. And I, I also wanted to point out too, you can see that the corn and the onions, they've caramelized just a little bit and it just looks so beautiful. And this reminds me of that, remember when you were a kid and you like in the school cafeteria and they would cook um, Mexicorn? Did you ever get Mexicorn in the school cafeteria? This is 100% better than Mexicorn because Mexicorn always made me gag a little. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> I always thought it was so gross. What do you think? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mm -mm -mm. You're gonna love it. As it's cooked, it's gotten slightly creamy because of the caramelization process and the onions breaking down and everything else. It's just so, so good. Also, you can either back off or add more butter. That's entirely up to you. This is really a flexible recipe. And you know, you can you really can taste all of the components. You can taste the onion, the corn, the poblano, and the red pepper. It really does just come together. It's wonderful. I would like to thank you for joining me today so you can see how I made this delicious, fresh, off the cob, Southwest style fried corn. If you like today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we always share right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope that you give this Southwest style fried corn a try and I hope you love it. I know you're gonna love it. You know you're gonna love it. Oh, and until next time, I'll see ya. Candy Club and sharing their own experience, but this is my very first time. And when they contacted me and they sent me the code, they said, go ahead and pick your own candy and fill up your box. I was really excited about that. And I'm gonna show you here in just a minute how you, what it looks like for you to go to their website and pick your own candy, because it's really a lot of fun. And some fun facts about Candy Club. 